Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to understand two port network formula such that we will never forget this. Okay, so let's start with the very basic network of two port network. So here you can see this network is called as two port network. Why two port network? Here you can see we have one port here, we have another port here. Okay, so basically we have a two port. Okay, so that's why this network is called as two port network. Now to analyze how the characteristics of this two port network is for that we have various parameters okay so let's start with the first parameter which is z parameter okay z parameter we also called as open circuit parameter or impedance parameter we will see why this name is given to this okay so here you can see the formula of z parameter is this one v1 is equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 this is the very basic formula and i know most of the people know this okay but the difficult is in this abcd parameter inverse abcd parameter okay so we will see the trick how we can understand all these formulas such that we will never forget okay so this is a very easy formula and we all know this okay and the matrix of this z parameter is this one v1 v2 z11 z12 z21 z22 and i1 i2 here okay so the unit of this z parameter is ohm okay now the question is why this is called as open circuit or impedance parameter because here you can see if we want to find out the value of z11 z11 will be nothing but v1 by i1 when i2 is equals to 0 right so here you can see we are making current is equals to 0 okay so if we make any current to equals to 0 it means we are open circuiting the network right if there is a voltage we will short circuit right so here we are making current to zero that's why we are opening the network and for this only this z parameter is called as open circuit here you can see all these terms z11 z12 z21 and z22 to find out the value of this term we have to make either of the current equals to zero okay so this z parameter is called as open circuit parameter and we are very well aware of the formula okay now let's see the y parameter y parameter is called a short circuit or admittance parameter we will see later why this name is given the formula is very simple this is just inverse of this z parameter here you can see at the left hand side we were having v1 v2 and here in y parameter we have i1 i2 okay in place of z11 z21 we have y11 y12 and so on and here in right hand side we were having i1 i2 and here we have in right hand side v1 v2 okay so this is also very simple and we know this formula okay so here you can see the matrix will be nothing but i1 i2 y11 y12 y21 and y22 and v1 v2 in this matrix and the unit of this terms will be in mo okay so here you can see if we want to find out the value of y11 y11 will be nothing but i1 by v1 when v2 is equals to 0 so here you can see we are making voltage to zero voltage to zero it means we are going to short circuit one of the network okay so for y11 we are going to make v2 equals to zero for y21 we are going to make v2 is equals to zero similarly for y12 and y22 we are going to make v1 is equals to zero okay so that's why this is called a short circuit or admittance parameter as you can see the unit is in mo okay now let's see for abcd parameter now this is a confusing part okay so here you can see we, the formula of ABCD parameter is V1 is equals to A V2 minus B I2 I1 is equal to C V2 minus D I2. Okay, so here you can see we don't have any relation. Okay, in earlier we were having relation current on left hand side and voltage on right hand side. Okay, but here it is mixed. Okay, so to understand this formula we have to use this trick. Okay, so the trick says for left hand side you have to always remember that for abcd parameter we will have v1 and i1 okay so you can, here you can see v1 and i1 which we can say as it is an input impedance okay similarly for inverse abcd parameter we will have v2 by i2 v, and we will say output impedance and for h parameter we will have trans resistance basically v1 by i2 and for inverse hybrid parameter we will have transconductance okay so by using this we will complete our left hand side part but the thing is now for right hand side part for right hand side part we have to use this trick the trick is you have to use the priority priority says that always your input parameters will come first okay so this is the first priority given and the second priority given is to voltage either it can be input side or output side okay so here you can see for left hand side we already know that 
for ABCD parameter, we have to use input impedance. Okay, so for input impedance, V1 will be upside and I1 will be downside. Okay, so here we are completed with left hand side. For right hand side, here as you have seen that we have to use the priority. Okay, so the priority says first we have to write input parameters. So here you can see V1 and I1 is already completed. Okay, and we all know that input parameter is V1 I1, output parameter is V2 I2. Okay, so we can say that input parameter is already completed. Now the remaining part is output parameters that is V2 and I2. Okay. So here you can see we can't use this first one. So we have to go for second one. Second one says that voltage will come first. Okay. So for output parameters, you can see we have V2 and I2. Okay. And as per the priority, we know that V2 will come first. Okay. So that's why you here you can see we have V2 first than I2. Okay. So I guess you are getting this trick. Okay. And now the question is why do we have negative sign here okay so here you can see abcd parameter is known as transmission parameter or a cascading parameter okay so basically this parameter is used for cascading okay so if we are cascading any two blocks okay so here you can see output of this block will be input of this block right but here in two port network we know that the current of output port is coming inside okay but here we want the current to go outside okay so output of this port is given to this port right so for this we are using negative sign here okay so just for our need we are making this current to negative okay so what we can conclude is for abcd parameter our left hand side part will be input impedance we will have negative sign in between and for right hand side we have to use the trick and this trick will be handy for abcd parameter inverse abcd parameter hybrid as well as your z parameter okay so the priority says that first you have to check for input parameters if input parameter is completed then only you have to go for voltage so now let's see for inverse abcd parameter so in inverse abcd parameter you can see for left hand side we have v2 by i2 it is nothing but output impedance okay so we have completed with left hand side part for right hand side part it is simple okay again we are going to use the priority wala trick okay so priority wala trick says that first your input parameter should come okay so if we compare here we have v2 and i2 completed okay so we are remaining with v1 and i1 okay so here you can see this all are input parameters okay and now the question is what we have to use first either v1 or i1 okay so for that we are going to use this second wala second wala says that voltage should come first okay so we are going to use v1 first then i1 okay so here the formula will become v2 is equals to a dash v1 here you can see we have used v1 first and then i1 okay and again the negative sign will be there for abcd parameter okay either it is normal abcd parameter or a inverse abcd parameter okay and the matrix will be this one okay so here if you see this matrix we do we have not written the negative sign with this coefficient we have written the negative sign with this matrix okay so take care of this now let's see for hybrid parameter this is called as hybrid parameter because we get mixed type of parameters here okay so the formula for this is v1 is equals to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 i2 is equals to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 okay so again we have to use our trick the trick says that for left hand side part this will be trans impedance basically trans resistance here you can see v1 by i2 okay so here you can see it is resistance okay but here we have input side and here we have output side okay so we will say that it is a transfer resistance okay so that's why it is called as trans resistance so for left hand side we are completed but for right hand side we have to use our priority wala trick priority wala trick says that we have to first use the input parameters okay so first we have to check which parameters are completed okay so here you can see we have completed with v1 and i2 okay so v1 and i2 is completed we are left with v2 and i1 okay so here you can see in this two we have this i1 as input parameter okay so here we are going to use i1 first so here you can see in the formula we have used i1 first then v2 okay so the formula becomes v1 is equals to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 i2 is equals to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 okay and this is the matrix okay so if you calculate the value of h11 and h22 you will get h11 as in ohm and h22 in mo okay and for this for one you will get voltage gain and for another you will get reverse beam, okay so now let's see for inverse hybrid parameter this is also called as g parameter so we are going to use the same trait okay for left hand side we know it is a transconductance okay so from abcd parameter you can see we started with input impedance the next one is just opposite to this here we have input impedance so here we will have output impedance okay 
for h parameter here we have trans resistance so again the next one will be opposite this is basically nothing but trans conductance okay so it says that it should be i by v but here we will have i1 first and then v2 okay always note that first we have a input parameter then we have output parameter okay so here also you can see that here we have written v1 not v2 okay so take care of this okay now let's see for right hand side so for right hand side you have to use the priority trick so priority trick says that first we have to use input parameters okay so here if you see we have completed with i1 and v2 we are left with v1 and i2 right so first we have to use input parameters so v1 is input parameter so we are going to use v1 first okay and then we are going to use i2 so in the formula you can see i1 is equal to g11 v1 plus g12 i2 and v2 is nothing but g21 v1 plus g22 i2 okay and the matrix will become somewhat like this okay so by this we are completed with all formula of two port network and this is very helpful formula most of the sums are asked directly by the formula only okay now let's see something which is very important which is nothing but condition for symmetrical and reciprocal network. Okay, this is also very important because some of the questions are directly asked on this also okay so let's start with the z parameter for z parameter symmetrical condition is z11 is equals to z22 and reciprocal is nothing but z12 and z2 okay similar to this we have for y parameter we have for abcd parameter and for a dash b dash c dash d dash parameter also okay so here also you can see that we have the same thing okay in place of z11 we have y11 in place of z22 we have y22 okay and here also you can see we have same for y12 and y21 okay for symmetrical for abcd parameter it is same but for this reciprocal it is different okay it is just a determinant your determinant should be equals to one and for abcd parameter determinant will be ad minus bc okay so whatever the coefficient matrix you have used that a b c d determinant will be ad minus bc okay so basically you have to just remember that here determinant will be equals to one and for a dash b dash c dash d dash symmetrical will be same and reciprocal will be similar to this abcd parameter okay for h parameter we will have determinant here and in reciprocal we have h12 and h21 in negative relation okay and for z parameter it will be similar to h parameter we will have determinant equals to 1 and your reciprocal condition will be similar to this h parameter which is nothing but g12 is equals to minus g21 okay so i hope you like this video you understand whatever the trick we have to use to remember the formula this formula is very important to solve gate sums okay so that's it for today. Thank you guys.